natural resources. We shall learn about the beautiful gift of the nature that is resources and its conservation. Dear students, a natural resource includes land, air, water, wildlife, forest, minerals, soil and climate. All these are essential for our survival. Essential conditions for developing resources. Classification of resources Based on renewability On the basis of renewability, resources can be grouped into renewable resources and non-renewable resources. Renewable resources These resources can be renewed or replenished after their use. These includes air, water, soil, forest, wildlife and solar energy. Non-renewable These resources cannot be renewed or replenished after their use. These includes coal, oil, fuels, natural gas. Based on origin Resources can be classified into two categories. Biotic resources, for example, forest product, agriculture product. Abiotic resources, for example, land, water, rocks. Based on ownership. Individual resources. Resources owned by the individuals, like grazing grounds, are called individual resources. Example, house, plot, farm. Community-owned resources. Resources owned by the community like grazing grounds, ponds, panchayat ghar, etc. Park, river, playground, etc. National resources. According to nation's law, all the resources belong to the nation. For example, land, river, mountain, wildlife, forest, etc. International resources. World resources belong to all the inhabited of the earth, that is, ocean. Based on usage Natural resources Resources gifted by nature are natural resources. For example, land, soil, water, wildlife, etc. Human resources Human resources, by using skill and technology, are capable of converting available material into productive assets. For example, generation of electricity from tides. Human-made resources Machines, dams, buildings, are examples of resources created by human being based on their development actual resources they are being used in the present for example coal deposits of Ruhr Valley in Germany potential resources they are not being used at present these are resources of the future for example the uranium found in Ladakh Based on distribution Abigusius These are resources which are found everywhere. For example, air we breathe. Localized These are resources found only in certain places. Example, copper or iron ore. Resources and Economic Development Economic development of a country depends upon availability of different resources in the region and the skill and technologies possessed by them. The needs and aspirations of the people living in these regions. How can resources be productive? For generating a higher rate of productivity, we must take care. 
technology needs to be used immensely. Resources need to be conserved. International trade is imperative for increase in production. Pollution should be controlled and productivity should be sustained. Resource planning means utilization of country resources for different development activities in accordance with national priorities. Conservation of resources It is essential to consider the skills, types of machinery, methods of mining, clearing unwanted material to make resources available for utilization by man. The best method of planning of resources means efficient utilization of resources. Sustainable Development The development which does not disturb the balance of nature is called sustainable development. In other words, the rate of exploitation of resources does not exceed that of renewal of those resources or degrade the stock. To conserve the Earth's vitality and diversity. To minimize the depletion of natural resources. To change altitude towards environment. To improve quality of human life. Summary Anything that satisfied our need is a resource. Resources can be classified on the basis of their resources renewability, origin, ownership, usage, development and their distribution. For conservation of resources, 4 R should be practiced. Reduce, consume less and do not waste. Reuse, use a product or resource as many times as you can. Cycle, Avoid wastage by changing a product into another usable material. And refuse. That is, if you do not need a thing, refuse it. Natural resources are sufficient for everybody's need, but cannot satisfy everybody's greed. And so don't be greedy and use the natural resources accordingly. Keep studying and have fun.